Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Maddie Simmons with Most Lethal Club Productions. And here today we are starting something brand new. We're calling it the Lethal Look. Now today we're gonna have a very special guest on board, one of our own personal directors and upstarting entrepreneur, Jose Rivera. So I hope you stick around and enjoy. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. You no are terror. watching a master at yeah. work. That's what you all been waiting for, ain't it? Rap game on me, I've been waiting for the payment. All these look. All right, ah. and we're back with our homeboy, Jose Rivera. Welcome to the show. What's good? What's good, Brody? What's good? How's it going? How's it going for you? I'm good. This is like, this is my first time ever doing like an interview for something. So I'm kind of nervous a little bit because I feel like I'm going to like jibber up my, my, <laughs> my things to say, but other than that, I'm feeling great. I'm You're feeling, feeling great? great. You're mm -hmm. really, really confident. Yep. Well, I hope you had breakfast and don't vomit. <laughs> <laughs> All that, right. It's been officially announced that you are actually on board directing the new YouTube series, Max Stone. So tell us how you got involved with that and tell us what your plans for. How I got involved with it was obviously with you, with you one day and we were, you were talking to me how you wanted to make this, this series about about Hollow Point family, and then how you want to make another series called uh, Max Stone, and Max Stone was going to be an action drama about this this guy, well, this guy that's trying to uh, go up against his own his own gang that he left a while back, and once I've heard that, I was like, this is this is a pretty good idea, you know, and for myself, I feel like it's going to teach me a lot about the the filmmaking of an action movie or an action show. So, you know, I'm definitely going to have to teach myself a lot more stuff to do than what I typically already do. All right, all right, all right. Ready? So, now, with this series, when you were writing it with me, we wanted to work on something very visually pleasing. And we wanted something to seem almost supernatural and deliver a trance of a world that looks like ours, but not exactly ours at the same time. So, so how, do you plan, how do you plan to deliver that? By... By delivering a good story and delivering good character development, because I feel like if we're gonna shoot something that's out of the ordinary, then good character development and stories would be the best. You know, I think that's what people people will want to watch in a series that's really heavily on drama and action. You know, I think I think a good character development in a story would definitely help it. Mm -hmm. So next question. How does it feel actually working with the most Lethal Club production crew? Because I know you, you've been in here since... Since... Like, like 2016, I began like really working up on projects and stuff like that. And then obviously, with you guys, we started up around like... Around the beginning of the year, you know, we started up with the productions. Because I remember when me and you, you know, we were just at, our, at my house talking about it. Like, oh, dude, I really want to start this this production crew and have all these people that have such great talents to work with us. And, you know, at first myself, I was like, what, how? But what is it? Later on, we met a ton of people and we definitely have created a, a crew of people that have tons of talent for what they do. So how, do, how does it feel really working with us? If, it feels great, dude. It feels great, honestly. Like, I feel really, blessed and happy to to start showing people what I can do as a filmmaker and you know show people the filming process because since since working on my first project back in 2016 welcome home you know people have asked me like Jose how do you do this stuff how do you film how do you where do you get your camera what is your camera <laughs> like you know they just they just ask me people ask me tons of questions of, of how filmmaking is and you know I just want to answer those questions to them and also sh show people what I can do as a filmmaker so okay. Okay. It, it, feel, it feels great to be a part of this production crew and once again I know I said it before like a million times but uh, welcome to the group of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right of course, so next question hmm. when it comes to the filming process Hands down, what has got to be like your favorite part when you're going forward and moving forward with this project? What is what is your favorite part so far? Just being behind the camera. 
like I know that's just a very sim simplistic answer, but like just being behind the camera and like getting these shots to look as good as they can is really like the best part in my opinion. Cause like once I go home and you know put everything down on laptop stuff, start editing, you know, be there for like possibly like a, like a few hours editing this, like it, it, I can just see all the shots be put together and just be like, this is something that's a part of a story, you know. So really being behind the camera has to be my favorite thing to do. So, so that's 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 your favorite part so far. Yes, that, that's your that has always been my favorite part, honestly. Like, like just just filming, and like anything that I can, it feels great. Like, like my my favorite part has been working with you, is like when we actually have our like sit downs and we actually look over the script and things like that, and we actually like. Cause like that's what's also like awesome about working with you as a director, like. I come like as the writer. I come with like, okay, this is my idea of it, and then you're like, but you gotta think about yeah, what yeah. this looks like think in front of the, of the inside, camera. Yeah, yeah, and the, and then you start like tossing out these ideas, and I'm like, whoa, like this is crazy, and like this is this is one of the reasons why I really like love bringing you on board, cause like not only that, but like you you understand that this is about being artistic, and sometimes being artistic means being unorthodox and doing things out of the ordinary. What I personally what I actually personally think, like, even though that it's about being artistic, you know, you, you're putting a lot of focus on what on on your art and your craft. I also think it's just 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 for fun. Like, yeah. I think I think honestly, you know, being being with a crew of people, you know, getting shots to go well, you know, editing and stuff. It should be fun for people. It should be fun to do these kinds of things. Not. Not just like, all right, you stand up front and I'll I'll film this thing. Like, no, like you know, I want when it comes to to any sorts of production that I I work on, I want everyone to have fun. So, and that, that's why I love that's why I love you as a director because it's like you you come and like not only do you bring like this respect, this charisma, this positive energy, like. Even if we mess up that day, like you always like make sure like, hey, you know what? We didn't get it today, but we got a good laugh in. We of made course. some good memories, and we're, we're gonna, always gonna get better next <coughs> time. We're gonna have mistakes, like you know, that, that happens for everything. But you know, we have another day. We have another day to film these things. You know, so I definitely, I always want to have people on a positive mind, on a motivational mind, that they can work with each other on these projects with me. And I want them to feel good about working on them. That's why I'm excited to work with you in the future. Mm -hmm. Like like it's cool that like I'm the writer and the actor in this and like you're the director, but I can't wait to like just like write with you and like <laughs> develop future <laughs> stuff. Like, yeah. Cause like we're like we're like two like crazy mad scientists when we sit down on a pad and paper. We just like we're just like got this like it's alive, it's a monster, but like it ends up becoming like this beautiful like monster. Cause like we, we, we get that style. True, true. So, right. um, so, Let's get back. one thing, one thing that has been tagging people about Max Stone is the fact that it's almost ultra human. There's, there's this trance to it where they look like us, but they're not us at the same time. And you have this very supernatural flow going on that we did when we were writing this. So tell me, how do you plan to like execute this and really give it to the audience? For, for Insanity Range, right? For Insanity Range and Max Stone. And Max Stone. Because I, well, I realize, like, both, with your script, both are just so. It. First thing, like, both are, are different projects on their own and both different genres. So just working on both are going to teach me a, a lot of what to do in filmmaking. And Insanity Range, I feel like it's going to be the one film, since it's going to be my second, my second feature film, I feel like that's going to really show people my potential as a filmmaker and also an actor and I just want to make something that people will be like in a few months oh Jose that movie that you made in Sandy Rains was a really great movie and I enjoyed watching it so I really want to deliver a lot of the psychological aspects that I wrote down I want to put a lot of the horror aspects that I put down you know I want to deliver people what they want what I have written 
So I have a lot to put. You have a lot to put. So now I'm personally gonna say that I am really excited for not only just Max Stone, mm -hmm. but also for Insanity Rams because you let me have a nice part in it. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. It's gonna like, be dope. And that, that that's like the part like I know cause we're setting it for 2019. And I know we're not trying to give too much to the audience. We apologize, but like, we really, really want you. This isn't a movie. This is like, this is like an experience. This is like a beautiful thing. Like we really did work on. So, with that being said, and us going about Max Stone and the next year's project, Insanity Reigns, I think we should wrap it up. So, is there anybody you would like to personally thank? I would like to first thank the crew, obviously, you know, you guys, I just love to see that every, all of us have been put into a group together to show each other our talents and our treasures and take our time on every single thing that we can do. And also, I would also love to give a shout out to an event that's going to be happening on October 20th, which is going to be the Face of Terror uh, premiere party. Um, it's not my project, um, it is one of my friends project and I was a part of it I was actually one of the main stars of it so if you guys want to go check that out the page is on Facebook and um, yeah that's that's mostly gonna be it this has been a lethal look and remember follow us on Twitter Facebook snapchat that you can see everything going down with most lethal club and all the things we're doing stay tuned and stay lethal peace peace